Matt Reeves directed the last two films from my favorite trilogy of all time, Planet of Apes, and I already mentioned before that I'm obsessed with Batman, so naturally I was excited to see what he could bring to the table with his firm hand behind this new iteration of the character. With that being said, here comes the question. Did this movie exceed my expectations? Yes. Yes it did. It's everything I wanted it to be and so much more. My brain is still boiling in a pan of disbelief, still processing how good it is. The amount of joy I felt leaving that theater was something out of this world. Thank you, Matt Reeves and everyone involved with the conception of this movie that I dare to call a masterpiece. I've seen it two times by now and I can't wait for round 3. What I got from this so far is that they were able to make a movie that combines the realism the Nolan films brought and the vicious approach to Affleck Batman in BVS, still maintaining a style that is only its own, not copying what's been made before and complementing it instead, by adding to the formula the comic book fuel that longtime fans have been waiting to see, myself included. There are so many comic references pre here and there. Also, as everyone already mentioned, we have strong inspirations from the Zodiac Killer, Seven, and in my opinion certain scenes have bits of Jigsaw as well. More than a superhero movie, the Batman presents itself as a dark moody noir film, nailing every single detective aspect of the character, bringing Riddler into the mix as the main villain to create such a fleshed out cat and mouse game that forces Bruce to face a lot of inner demons and finally set straight what he wants out of his alter ego. Being his second year as Batman, it's evident that he doesn't have the rich playboy persona yet. This movie revolves around Bruce Wayne struggling to carry himself, feeling that something is still missing, not being able to control his angsty urges. In the process of finding what's missing in his methods, he realizes that the message can be passed incorrectly, and others that are inspired by his actions might try to replicate those, taking its symbol and crossing lines in many ways. So here we have a Bruce Wayne that is brooding in rage, constantly fighting himself, still figuring out how to have a positive impact on people, and Riddler is there to be his counterpart, but being an orphan at a very young age got his mind twisted, leading him to find joy in hurting those who deserve to be punished. Once he realizes that Batman is also on his crusade, he's propelled to go further, thinking in his own way, he's doing the same as the Night Vigilante, just like those who hear the word vengeance and decide to inflict punishment in their own way. Robert Pattinson is perfect in this role, conceptually and physically. Look at his jawline with a mask, for instance. It fits perfectly. But acting-wise, there are scenes where he's in complete silence, just looking at people. And through his face, you can see the darkness boiling inside, anticipating the next night, so he can go out and do what he does best, what he feels it's his purpose. This actor is such a gem. I got so excited when they announced him to this role back in the day, and I'm so happy that people are acknowledging his talent now. Continuing with the cast. Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman is a force of nature, really badass, her body language, the way she speaks and her look towards Batman is soul piercing. Her relationship with him never felt forced and it's riveting to see how both can relate to each other. Colin Farrell as Penguin is unrecognizable, but that's not the only thing boosting his performance, the way he delivers dialogue is just perfect, I really like him as an actor and although I don't like his version of Bullseye in Daredevil, I dig the fact that he likes over the top characters and here it does it all, so I'm grateful for that. Jeffrey Wright as Gordon is such a refreshing addition. His interactions with Batman were really entertaining and served some humor scenes. It's also evident they know each other for a while now, and that they already teamed up to solve crimes in the past. The chemistry is just fantastic. The most emotional supporting cast for me was Andy Serkis as Alfred. It reminded me of the Gotham series version of this character, which in my opinion is a show that deserves more recognition, at least in terms of casting. Mostly because of the father role that he has in Bruce's life. The emotional weight was different to me, mainly in a specific scene that I just couldn't contain myself. It was heart-wrenching. John Turturro as Falcone was terrific. Each scene with him felt so uncomfortable. And I love the dialogue where he mentions events that are reminiscent of the Long Halloween comics. Last but not least, Paul Dano as the Riddler. I was speechless with the interrogation scene, but I was even more intrigued with how effective his omnipresence was. We see some of his crimes, but we never fully see Riddler's face until a certain scene. It's the same feeling I had with Juan and also Ringu, that sense that we never see what's causing damage to these characters, but we feel we're being watched for 100% of the time. This movie is a visual feast, where cinematography does everything to create visual storytelling, having every single frame popular 
populated with so many meticulously placed elements that create a spectacle of its own. Gotham City is depicted with such attention to detail. There are a lot of white neon shots of streets with gorgeous color grading and correction, and at times almost replicating full panels of a comic book page. The same applies to fight scenes, there are fewer than I expected, but that makes him precious. I could see the action taking place with really cool choreographies and continuous moves that had my heart racing. The chasing scene also, the Batmobile, the practical effects and stunts, the production design, everything is beyond perfection. Regarding sound design, it gave me chills, especially when reinforcing the weight of the Batman suit. For example, in scenes where we hear Batman coming from the dark with heavy footsteps. The movie throws Nirvana at my face and I couldn't be happier. The song Something in the Way fits perfectly with the moody approach they take here. And I have to say that we might have the best score ever made for a Batman movie. Coming from Michael G. Kino. This person is a genius and composed something that feels brave and frenzied, but at the same time it leads the listener to feel lost in the wind. It's perfect when it comes to elevating the character of both Batman and Bruce Wayne. This movie was everything to me. It goes places never explored before in live action format. It's filled with so many elements that for long time fans is gratifying. It's bold and takes liberties. Truly amazing work, such a mesmerizing experience. I'm getting teared up just thinking about it. Let me know your thoughts on the Batman, and if you haven't seen the film yet, I totally recommend it to you. Also, if you found my channel and you like what I do here, consider subscribing. Now, excuse me, I'll spend the rest of the weekend collecting Riddler trophies in Arkham Knight. See you soon.